Hey, we're looking at the 1968 Mustang Shelby. Um, we found a few issues. One of the main issues um, with the hard start installing, if you can see here, this ignition wire. It's all corroded in the cap and actual terminal is missing and broken off. So we recommend replacing uh, the cap wire plugs and the rotor. You can see here it will pop the cap off. And uh, best recommendation, as you can see, that center terminal is pretty black and burned too. So replace cap rotor wires and plugs. Uh, the other issues we found, if you look here at the carburetor, we have a lot of small gas leaks coming from the front and back of the carburetor by the float bowls. You can see all the staining uh, on the intake manifold. I recommend removing the carburetor, rebuilding it, changing all the gaskets, and setting the uh, mixture of shoes in the idle. At the same time, we're going to remove the distributor, set the timing on the distributor, check the advance mechanical and vacuum, and check the advance. We have full advance on the curve. Uh, it's a couple of the small issues under the car, so we'll put the car up in the air and we'll continue the inspection. Okay, we got the car up in the air now. Um, one of the issues you can see here, front wheel bearings have a lot of play. I don't know if you can hear the knocking, but you can definitely see the movement. And the other major issue that we found is on the rear suspension, the leaf springs. You can see the bushings are completely dry rod and they're actually starting to fall apart. Um, so we recommend replacing those two. Let's take a look at the other side. Pretty much the same thing. It's all dry rotted. So they should be replaced. Probably easier to replace them as part of the spring in case any of these shackles are stuck. Uh, besides that, pretty much most of the undercar is dry. And if we can get a good picture here of the drive shaft, we'll show you the play in the U joint. If you can hear the knocking noise there. So I recommend removing the drive shaft and replacing uh, the front and the rear U joints while we have it out.